Yeah, she's my girlfriend, but she also is my boss. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what are we doing for you, Brian? Uh, can I do a skin fade and then I want to add that part back and then a little trim on the top. Got it. Alright, we're going to do you with the Grandmaster Blade. So, what y'all think about that Grandmaster Blade? It's psychedelic. I can only speak for that because you put it on my own piece, so. Arizona's weather right now is prime time, so I didn't yeah. decide to do it. November? We're in November, no snow, not cold. Okay. Grandmaster blade can go from a 5-0 all the way to a 3, depending on how you use it, the angling, the cutting. Give me some tunes, eh, Caleb? I got the tune. I got the tune. <laughs> Give us some funk, some rock, some blues or something hardcore. Hey, we don't now that we, we're talking about 15 minute haircuts. Uh -huh. Turn trip. I found a funny video about somebody doing 15 minute haircuts. Mm -hmm. When it was never a thing before, never existed. No one's on YouTube typing in 15 minute haircuts or how to do it. All of a it sudden. It was, and the barbers who did it, they was, they was artsing people out. I appreciate how when barbers did the video, they had the time on the video. I like that a lot. There's a good amount of 15 minute haircut videos on YouTube. I see. They're all skin fades. Uh, three on top. Yeah. Skin fades to one. Yeah. It's not any hair. A lot of full cut that you get every day in the shop all the time. And you see their hand. <laughs> Which, I mean, like, in those situations, I feel like that's cool. They're predated, but... This one was, uh... Pretty plagiarized. I mean, it's not, it really at the end of the day is about being in balance. You don't just cut fast to say, I can cut fast. Because when you're in the shop and you got 10 people waiting, you're not saying to your customers, hey, I'm going to cut you fast. They got to get out of there. You got to get to the next client. But everybody wants a client. Right. The thing is, it's the guy in the chair want to be. It's not a contest. You know what I mean? We're yeah. going to take care of the customer, pay our bills, get out of the shop on time, and you know, give our customers a good haircut so they're going about their business you know and the thing is everybody want to be treated right who's in the chair yeah so the guy in the chair don't want to feel like you rushing to make money right to get the next customer but at the end of the day if you give him a really nice haircut and the guy waiting see that haircut and realize wait a minute he moved fast to get me in the chair so i don't be in here all day each customer feels each special customer feels this. special so it's like you treat the customer who's waiting with respect and you treat the customer in the chair with respect by making sure he get a haircut that he can be like, oh, wait a minute. So not only did he pick up speed or cut time by the way he cut, this dude actually gave me a high quality haircut. And then they that's how they gain, you gain their respect the next time you have to go fast or they get a 15 minute haircut. Yeah. When they get out that chair and realize, oh, this dude, he about his business. Hey. You grab that mirror, you realize, oh, he iced me out, literally. So, and it, it makes you want to come back because you know I'm not gonna be stuck in this yeah. shop. I don't have to order my Chinese food and sit down and eat it, and you know, you know, especially make an appointment. Even you know you're gonna get yourself taken care of. So, yeah. Now I remember uh, coming down after some time after you know coming down to get a haircut. I had been with a couple other barbers. And naturally, I was like, ah, uh, you know, you know, trying to make plans or something. Like, All right, I'm gonna go get a haircut. I'll probably like come through in like two hours or something because I'm gonna need an hour to get a cut, and then I gotta need an hour to come meet you. And then I went down to Yarga's shop, walked in, and wasn't even paying attention to the time. Got a nice clean cut. Saw that mirror, like you said, and then looked at my phone, and it said only 30. It was 15 minutes since the last time when I walked in. Was like maybe five minutes I waited, and maybe another five, 15 minutes. So I walked in at like 2, walked out 2.30, and I was like, yo, 
hey guys, I can be there in like 30 minutes in an hour. <laughs> like, I thought this cut was going to take a lot longer and looking clean. So, nah, man, ain't nobody else in the game really doing it like you guys. And, and another thing, obviously, if the shop ain't full, we're not sitting there doing that to everybody. No. Like, if the shop ain't full, when we have a good customer, we talk, we joke, we ask you questions, where you from, first time being, right. we're going to be polite and cut your hair accordingly. Right. And, of course, there's another thing. If somebody's picky, there's yeah, nothing it, you can do about it that. It Somebody says, good. they see the haircut done, oh, can you do this, can you do that? You can still be there for 45 minutes if you have a customer that's like that. So it's not everyone's supposed to just flat out get 15 minutes. But if you know your regulars, yeah, for sure. and it's a Saturday, and even your regulars, like, they appreciate it. I remember so many times regulars come in and they knew, okay, it's slam, but I'm going to get my cut. I mean, we had four barbers at that time, too, so you know you're going to get cut within the hour, and that's what we say. Customers will come in, oh, you guys are slam. I'm going to just, and like, no, no, no. What you see is is not what you think. You'll get cut within the hour. Like, oh, shoot, how long is it late? 30 minutes. And oh, they're looking at six people like, 30 minutes? There's no way. And having an appointment system. <sighs> Appointments and, and walk -ins. Appointment system. Listen, yeah, Saturdays with 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., no bathroom, no food. Maybe you can get a bottle of water from somebody, but yeah. that was it. You didn't leave your station. We, don't leave, we didn't leave in the middle of a cut, so no lunch break. <laughs> no. Nah, no lunch break, bro. Even yeah, the yeah. bathroom. I remember one time, I, I was surprised I had just two minutes to go to the bathroom one day, and everyone was like, ha, he gets a bathroom break. You know, they clown you or whatever, but it is what it, it is. is, what it you, is. Hey, we had it. We made up a saying for it. Murder. Murder. <laughs> Murder. Murder. Lies. <laughs> yeah, that was the saying. When you that, knew. That, hey, but we remember that it was morning shift. We had six to ten slam appointments and walking. You had a nice little slowdown from ten to twelve, and then from like one, people wake up late. One to six, boom, it was murder again. Ooh. So. <laughs> murder. Yeah. At least we had the tunes going. Always. We always had, had the tunes going. We didn't have Caleb then. But Caleb was in the making. He was playing in the shop a little bit sometimes. Definitely. Yeah, that was crazy. I will say it. It was very hard learning this program in a shop in real time. Yeah. If, like, you could have had a chill situation to learn, it would have been easier. But trying to learn this technique when you have other barbers doing another technique and then you got customers right there waiting for you and you got, I mean, we were new. We I'm like, we messed up. We oh, made mistakes yeah. just like anybody else, you know? And he is a good teacher, but sometimes he didn't like him. You know what I mean? Yeah, I knew y'all didn't like me. Definitely didn't like you. I mean, I was going home just trying to get away from you. Hey, you know? but you, when, you was, when you was going to the bank, uh, going to the bank, making them deposits and the tips and everything you was making afterwards, what you were saying then? Yeah, we were best friends. Was, yeah, now we're best friends. But what's funny is... We were never best friends. I just understood and appreciated the situation. But I mean... But at the end of the day, I wouldn't let y'all just cut any kind of way because at some point, I knew I was going to need y'all to help me get those customers out there. And if you never learn how to cut fast... You will not be able to cut survive. fast when you have to get through the clients. When you have to, yeah. Right, so I was not going to let y'all just learn how to use the lever, learn how to use the plastic guards. No, I was going to teach y'all how to use the flat mid high, how to swing on the angle, how to use the detachable blades so that you could control your income. Yeah. And it, could be, it. it could be 10 people waiting. And you know what? You got to still go the pace you got to go. And it don't matter. And if they get up and go in somebody else's chair or get up and go to another shop because they don't want to wait, that's Same because, word. hey. And, and we did have two shops within a mile or two. So it was, you know, if people went to oh, slam, I'll go over here or vice versa. So Yep. And I, it was nice when it was just the three of us. After we, you know, we didn't have all the bars we had before, it did really pay Keep off. Keep the widow speak? Uh, nah. Get it nice and lined up. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. No more oh. widow speak? Oh, oh, wow. So since when you start knowing Widow's Peak? Hey, you know, some things changed in my life and I just <laughs> thought, you know, it's time to it's time to get that clean lineup. Yeah, yeah. Bygones be bygones. Hey, right? right? You know what it was? He seen that he seen that video from, from Hey from sure was. I saw that, that video from man from kids. Said, Yo, I was crispy. That was crispy. <laughs> I said, oh man. I only had it 
When they turn in the mirror with you, I love that. Because they look up and they see eyes and lock eyes with you, and they're like, Keep your hair straight. I'm trying to to cut you, right? So you go to look in the mirror to see what's being done, and they turn their head with you and both look in the mirror. Now you're both looking at each other like, (laughs) you're not helping me now. So then you finally give them, when the kid's real bad, a claw. (laughs) They go to turn the head. You grab they don't Hey, my favorite people. Kids who are older, they used to move a lot. And I used to say, I said, do you want a ball spot? <laughs> and they go, no, no. Please be still. Be still. Two words. Be still. That's all. Just chill. Just watch, man. I got you. You don't look good. But hey, don't I mean, there are kids. We had some situations where kids, we, you know, we're jumping out the chair and Ooh. they're moving. And, and, I mean, listen, your back will be hurting. That's and that's another thing. I don't understand how I could be on a kid's donkey for 45. Like, kids, you know they have like 10 minutes. You know you got yes, 10 you minutes. Yes, you got, no, kid, you got, kid, I say 12. Like, 10 minutes, they start. After yep. 12 minutes, it's over. It's like, it's over. It's like, yo, are you done? 
you know, I'm not done, but I got a good bulk of it done because I have to hurry up. Right. And so, I mean, it's like there's always that moment where they were still and they decide to move. I never forget this one kid. He was a regular too. And I, he get he got a he usually gets like a number two fade. I'm going to line him up right here. He said, "Boom." I just said, hey, you getting this high skin fade today, my friend. Yeah. And I looked at his dad, and his dad said, I told you don't move. Gave him a high and tight. That boy never moves again. Remember? He would. He knew. So it's just, he lives and learn. Kid, I mean, they're gonna, those same kids are gonna be adults one day. So if you just be nice to them and train them, they'll eventually learn. There's no sense in being mad or yelling at a nope. kid or anything. Nope. They're a kid. They're gonna scream, they're gonna cry. You're gonna get snot in your cake a couple times, you know? Yeah. Be nice, and, and I remember those kids will remember you being nice. Yes. And then the next time, the next time you get them an AJ shirt. Uh -huh. Well, I didn't like, I didn't mind the kids. I really did. AJ loved the kids. Do for kids. Do for kids. Kid. Kid. <laughs> I really didn't mind the kids at all. I had that one kid. <laughs> Which one? Your yeah, boy. He gave me fits. Robbie. 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 Yeah, definitely. That was funny that day. <laughs> no, Wait, really. It was funny to me. But. <laughs> I was learning to cut him. This kid was bugging. 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 <laughs> I was standing there. And, like, you know, like, I'm at that triple line. He's messing up my triple on top of me messing up my triple. Right. And I'm just like, this cannot be happening. He gets an AJ chair. We have a full conversation. No, we didn't talk. Cool. Not enough time. Number. He sits in AJ's chair for like two, three months. Then he comes back to my chair. Wow, out again. <laughs> wow, out. <ow>. Wow. <laughs> Have a client for you guys, and you know, I have a client in a wheelchair. Or I had any some kind of uh, disability, still giving them, making them feel like any other customer. Oh, that was yeah, the that was chair mover. Tessie pulled the chair. Yeah, that was that was fun. Like, you don't get this work. Don't worry. You just move the chair. We've seen they seen us move the whole chair, move in, and just especially when we were training. Yeah. And we couldn't really move the chair the correct way, mm -hmm. and your dad was honest about doing a good job. Yeah. And they felt like, yo, I'm not getting gypped here. Right. Like, yo, they're, I'm getting the same attention anything else right. would get, clearly. That was something that... Like that and that's funny. That's when you got, I think, in the range, there's two areas of the most tips you got. When you actually get good and when you're learning because your dad's telling you what to do. Many times. And then the customer's just like, yo, they are not going to let me leave here. Right. He's more angry with us the right. way the person looking that they would be right. about because they were about to walk out with whatever we were gonna give them. So that was the best we thought we could do. Right. And they were okay with it. But when they weren't a bit happy with it, but they were okay with that at that moment. And we had that one part too. Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 We oh, 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 oh. Nah, you good? I forgot yeah. to tell you. Yeah. Hey, Dad. What's up? Uh, you had it on this side. I had on the left side. Uh, yeah. What's up? The left side. What's up? I can't tell you how many times me and Joey snapped the cake, said, thank you, have a nice day. And my dad said, he walked up the said, excuse me, look at that. He said, I'm sorry, sit back down next year. And I'm like, They have to register paying. And they're like, no, nah, sit back now. And I'm, you already got the next customer like, in your chair. And he's like, excuse me, get up. Yeah, head. sit back down. You're saying with the clippers. So they knew, which it was good learning for us not to just, you know, give a cut and give, you know, have someone walk out, but really learn. And at the end of the day, you give the best cut. Think of painting a picture and you actually think it's good. And somebody's like, go back in there and fix something. And you're like, yo, I did the best I could at painting this. Like, I'm actually scared of going back in there and jacking it, it up. <laughs> and you know what's worse? You do do that at times. And you have to learn not to do that. Right. 